Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Downloading and Installing Eclipse. This video was made under a Creative Commons Attribution non-commercial license. In this video, you're going to learn what Eclipse is and what it can be used for. You'll see how to download and install Eclipse, and we'll take a brief look at Eclipse to see that it is working on your computer. So, you may be asking, what is Eclipse? Eclipse is a development environment, a software application with lots of tools that you can use to create stuff. Eclipse is integrated. This means that all tools provided by Eclipse are collected in one software package that works together. You can also think of integrated as meaning that the diverse components that you create are integrated to form a complete package. So finally, Eclipse is known as an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. To find Eclipse, simply search for Eclipse.org in the Google search page. Typically, the latest version of Eclipse will be the first entry in the search results. Here we see Mars Eclipse. Go ahead and click on Mars Eclipse, and it should take you to the Eclipse Project homepage at Eclipse.org. This site has everything you need for Eclipse. For our purposes, click on the large download button you see in the upper right corner of the page. This should take you to the download page. A number of different Eclipse packages are listed here. The one we would like is called Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. This one will allow us to build networked web applications. So let's click on that one. This page provides a description of the package for Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Take a moment to look through that page once you're there. Note, in the upper right corner, there are a list of download links for various types of operating systems. From this point, be sure to choose your operating system. I'm working on a Mac, so I'm going to choose Mac OS X download link. This will take us to the Eclipse download page you can select various sites. There's a primary download indicated by the orange button, but some of the others are faster. I'm going to select the IBM download site to get a faster download. Here I see a new page with some options. I'm simply going to select the Download Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers, the Mac Coco option. This will start to download. Once you click the download link, you can select the location on your hard drive where you want your installation file to be stored. I created an Eclipse folder earlier so I would have a place to put this install file. I'll break here until my download is complete. My installation is complete. Note that my file is tar.gz. This is a common compression type for Mac downloads. I'm going to click on the button in my browser. This should decompress the file and then show it to me in a finder window. We now see the Eclipse application and the downloaded tar file. I don't need the tar file anymore since I've decompressed it, but I like to keep it until after I've tested the application. The actual application file is listed as Eclipse.app with an Eclipse icon. Typically, you'll need another component, namely the Java JDK, for Eclipse to run. Starting again from the main download page, let's find the link shown as Install Guide. Click on that. This will take you to a page where you can find other information about Eclipse and its installation. What I would like to show you has to do with installing the JRE slash JDK sources. Note that there are three possibilities here. I'm going to select Oracle JDK just to get it from the source. I open that in a new tab. Here I'll click on Java Platform JDK to get the file I need. In the list I can see that they have a version of this for the Mac OS X. First I need to accept the license agreement. Once I've accepted the license agreement I can click on 
the JDK version that I need for my Mac. Be sure to adjust to your operating system. I'm going to store the JDK DMG file in a special folder I created on my hard drive called Java. Here you can see that the file has been downloaded. I'll double click the DMG file to run the install package. From the install package I'll follow directions and double click the icon to install my JDK. At this point I have the JDK installed plus I also have the Eclipse app ready to use. Let's double click the Eclipse app just to test that my installation seems to be working. This is a good sign. I see the Eclipse splash screen. It's an Eclipse loads. And here I see the Eclipse IDE. Everything looks good so far. Let's create a very quick Hello World Java application just to see that Eclipse is working and that it's connecting to the JDK. Click on File, New, Java Project. Here we'll see a dialog box. We'll learn more about those in later videos. For now, just type in a name into the project name field. I'm going to call it testing123. Then I'll hit finish. Here I see that a project has been created. If I expand it, I see a source folder and I see the Java JRE files attached to this project. I'm going to right click on the SRC source folder and select new. At this point, I'm going to pick class to create a Java class. Here I see another dialog box. I'm going to set a few things on this one. I'll make sure that the option public static void main string args is selected so that I'll have a main method in this class. I'm going to give the class name of test. After that I'll click finish and it will create a file. Note the file shows up in the project explorer window under the source folder and that a file is generated in the editor. This file includes the stub for the main method. So if I want to run this project, I can simply put some code in this main method and run it to see if it works. Let's just simply print out the phrase hello world to the Eclipse console. To do this, I only need one line. I'll type system.out.println. In parentheses, I'll provide the literal string, quote, hello world, quote. I'll remember to add a semicolon at the end of my statement. There are several ways that I can run this program, but let me just simply right click on the file name in the Project Explorer window, select Run As, Java Application. After a moment it runs, and now in the console at the bottom of the IDE, I see the phrase Hello World. So with this simple test, it looks like my Eclipse and my Java JDK installation are working. Check out other videos to see how to fully use Eclipse. The primary reference for this video and the content found here is the Eclipse Foundation website at eclipse.org. This is your go-to source for all things concerning Eclipse. If you want to know about Eclipse, need some help, or just want to look at the Eclipse documentation, then this is where you should start. You can find information about Java and the JDK at the Oracle Technology Network website at the URL shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy under Creative Commons license. Background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.